everyone, Krellopix here and welcome back to this 5D Peacock Diamond Painting Headed towards the end now Well, we've been going downhill towards the end for a while now <laughs> Really, getting closer and closer with each video It happened to everyone. My nightmare came true. I ran out of light. <laughs> Lucky for me though, my uh, partner's mom, she's done a lot of diamond paintings and she has given me her white diamonds. And in this particular diamond painting, there's also another white. It's got a hint of green to it, but it's pretty much white and then I've got some white left from the koi diamond painting that I've done so I'm going to use those uh, I think my tactic though is to leave the white spots for last so do all of the diamonds except for those and then what I'll do is try to group the white by subject so all the white in one flower I will use one type of the um, substitute diamonds that I've got for that. So I think by doing it that way, it won't look so weird and disjointed. But yeah, it's really, it's a big bummer for me that I ran out. Normally, I would contact the seller even if this is a year old purchase. However, I don't want to wait three weeks for replacement diamonds, even if they decided to replace them. So. Yep, I'll just uh, do what I can with what I've got. I will be keeping these diamonds, uh, like all the leftovers and such, I'll be saving them in case of emergency. But I'm just wondering if maybe I should stock, like buy diamonds in just the black and the white because those colors get used, you know, quite a bit. So something, you know, to think about. <laughs> and actually, who knows? 
I may move to square diamonds and love them and never look back at the round ones, so I don't know. We'll see, that's something to think about later. <laughs> Doing this diamond painting and the whole running out of white issue has really forced my mind into using things conservatively. So all of my diamonds and such, uh, I haven't thrown away any diamonds probably since I got about half a halfway through. And uh, basically, if I feel that they shouldn't go on the canvas, like if they're obviously unusable in any way, like oddly shaped or connected or broken or something like that, those of course get into the thrown away pile. But I have another pile that I set aside just in case I may need them for later. Uh, yeah, and if I ever spill any diamonds, I make sure that I pick every single one up and I take the extra time to make sure that I haven't missed any anywhere. And, uh, and unfortunately I spill diamonds quite a bit <laughs> but yeah I'm really wary and concerned that I will run out of diamonds so I've just been really frugal with them I mean you know of course you use them when you need to use them but I try to make sure that if I do spill any I pick them all up don't throw away the ones that may be okay for later so at the end of this I'll have quite a few that I'll need to toss out um, but I'm not sure what it'll look, what my reserves will look like, my, like my leftovers. But yeah, um, this particular diamond painting has really got me paranoid. <laughs> Thank you. 
it is full-on summer here in Australia and that means there are a lot of outdoor activities and events um, these days so this year I kind of feel like it's about finding your inner child maybe I don't know some of the events are quite um, I don't want to say childish but child themed like there's a inflatable maze uh, in the city center that looks like a lot of fun there's also an adult it's listed as an adult bouncing castle and an obstacle course that sounds like a lot of fun as well and there is an event where you get an inflatable raft and you just kind of sail down the river and that sounds very you know cool and relaxing maybe a little thrilling depending on you know what the current is like and what the weather is like but yeah but you know actually it's probably more the year of the inflatable now that i think about it <laughs> but yeah these uh, events definitely sound like a lot of fun and i'll probably do what i can and uh yeah it just sounds like a good time to like let loose and relax and enjoy yourself really and for me you know i'm really just a big kid at heart so it <laughs> fits me nicely So I know that I mentioned maybe once or twice <laughs> that I wanted to get uh, a Nintendo Switch. Well, I still want, I want one more than ever now. They recently just announced uh, this new project they're doing called Nintendo Labo. And basically what it is, is uh, Nintendo has put out these printed cardboard sets and you can you punch out the cardboard pieces and you color them and you fold them and you just put them together basically and then there are spots there are different ways that you can connect your switch so like the controllers and the main console and everything uh, to these bits of cardboard and then you interactively play games with it so the, I saw some kits like I only saw a really short trailer for it but some of the kits that they displayed was uh, like a piano and when you you actually make make each piano key and when you press on it it makes you know the correct tone uh that looked like very it looked like a lot of fun uh there was a fishing rod that you would make and play a fishing game with it um there were robots that you could control there was a huge robot pack and it looked like a vr set that looked really awesome uh, what else did i see there was uh, ah motorbike handles so i guess you would 
it would be like a motorcycle driving game that you would be involved in. It looked really cool, a lot, like, a lot of sets, and it really appeals to me because there's that crafting element to it. So I really feel that this project came out just for me. <laughs> Uh, because of the crafting and the gaming, because that's what I'm all about. <laughs> So I did notice in my uh, little bit of editing for these videos that I sometimes stick my pinky up when I'm using the pen tool. Not quite sure why. Um, maybe because for stability reasons. <laughs> I need to kind of keep track of that and see why I'm doing that. I think it looks a little funny. Uh, it could be because sometimes I am working on over um, uncovered sticky parts. So maybe I'm just trying to avoid touching the adhesive on the canvas, maybe. Sounds like a good reason to stick up my pinky, right? I also noticed that in my voiceovers, I say, um, a lot. <laughs> so from here on, I will try my hardest and I'm pretty sure I've said it more than once in this video already, uh, but I will try to cut down on the ums because it is quite annoying for me to listen to, so I'm sure it's annoying for you to listen to. So sorry about that, I will work on that. <laughs>
Alright, gonna stop the video here. I want to thank everyone for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. And I also want to send a special thanks out to all who offered to send me replacement diamonds for this. It really sucks to be running out of the diamonds. But yeah, thank you everyone so much. I can't believe the support you guys have given me. Um, if you could also like, comment, and subscribe, you know, do that YouTube thing. It would help me out so much like you wouldn't believe. But yeah, thank you again for watching. Thank you again for your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!